Madam President, uh, last uh, month I came to the floor, in fact, I come to the floor just about every month to highlight the great work that's being done by the men and uh, women of the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, and uh, last month uh, I focused on uh, the folks who work at FEMA. It's one of 22 agencies who make up collectively the Department of uh, Homeland Security, the, the newest, youngest department in the federal government. Uh, just a few days uh, before my speech, much of the East Coast uh, was uh, inundated, as you may recall, by one of the largest snowstorms that we've had in a long time. And FEMA, at that, on that day, was working around the clock to prepare for and respond to what could have been a much more devastating storm. We were hit hard, but we uh, would have been a lot worse off if not for the preparation and the training uh, that FEMA had done in the days, not just the days, not just the weeks, not the, just the months, but literally the years ahead leading up to the storm in order to make us better prepared. For uh, more than a year now, uh, Madam President, I've come to the floor and I have uh, focused on a different uh, uh, agency within uh, with the Department of Homeland Security. It'll take about two years to knock them all out, but uh, we're uh, making, making some progress there. And I've, uh, I've done so to, uh, to just to highlight the exemplary work, the important work done by some of the more than 200,000 people who collectively comprise the Department of Homeland Security. They work around the country, they work outside of our country, they work in, uh, they work in Mexico, they work in Central America, South America, they work in Europe, they work all over the place in order to make us safer in this country. These men and uh, women perform a wide range of vitally important work, they do it every day. They inspect their fruit and the vegetables that arrive in our ports of entry. Ports like the Port of Wilmington in my state, top banana port in the country. And uh, they patrol our borders, like the Border Patrol agencies dealing with increased migration from Central America. They defend our computer networks in cyberspace, responding to a new and growing 21st century threat. And they keep our president and our vice president and their families and former presidents and their families, uh, as well as candidates for, for those positions, as well as foreign dignitaries, uh, as uh, safe uh, from harm. They have a lot of work to do. Uh, the work of these uh, DHS uh, personnel deployed at the front line uh, is made possible in part because of the dedicated work of the men and women behind the scenes at the Department of uh, Homeland Security's Management Directorate. And as my colleagues have often heard me say, management really does matter. I'll say it again, management really does matter. And there are a few places where that's more true than at the Department of Homeland Security. The Management Directorate works to support the missions and employees of all 22 component agencies, which together comprise the Department of Homeland Security. They rent field offices, they buy essential equipment and vehicles, uh, and they uh, help to ensure that department employees receive the paychecks and benefits that they've worked for and earned. And within the, uh, the Management Directorate, uh, Directorate, the Office of the Chief of Human uh, Capital officer works to ensure that the department is doing what's best for its employees while providing department managers with the guidance, the resources that they need to help DHS take care of their own. One member of the uh, management directorate is a, an especially committed uh, fellow who, uh, his name is uh, Phil Nowak, and he is committed to uh, DHS employees, his fellow colleagues. He's the chief of staff in the office of the U chief human capital officer. Phil uh, grew up not in Iowa, not in Delaware. He grew up in San Francisco, not far from where I served in the, uh, the Navy for, uh, for a while. He joined the U.S. Coast Guard right after college. After serving the Coast Guard for 20 years, he retired as a commander. I was once a commander, my favorite rank, because we both of us served and, and uh, exchanged salutes all the time, Madam President. But uh, Phil retired as a commander in 2007 and joined the Federal Emergency Management Agency to help coordinate disaster response. In 2010, Phil moved to the Office of Chief Human Capital Officer, and in 2013, he took over as Chief of Staff. As Chief of Staff, Phil supports the work of the Chief Human Capital Officer in managing the workforce of the third largest capital cabinet agency in our federal government, third largest. And with 22 component agencies and DHS employees stationed literally around the world, Phil and his team of 200 men and women certainly have their work cut out for them. Supporting uh, department employees and providing them with the resources they need to excel and grow in their work is critical to maintaining a motivated, effective, and capable department. With some notable exceptions, we know that many of the components of this relatively young department have struggled with employee morale almost from its inception. 
Each year, the Partnership for Public Service releases its best places to work in the federal government survey. And each year, the Department of Homeland Security ranks at or near the bottom of all the agencies when it comes to overall employee morale. With Congress uh, imposing short-sighted budget cuts across government, imposing pay freezes, and just last week threatening a shutdown of the Department of Homeland Security in the middle of our fight against ISIS, it's no wonder that sometimes DHS employees uh, feel unappreciated. We probably would, too. Despite these setbacks, leaders like Phil Nowak are working every day, every night, to right the ship and improve morale at DHS. And a bunch of us here in, in the Senate, Democrats and Republicans, are trying to be uh, helpful in that, in that regard. Uh, in providing leadership and direction for human capital management for the department, Phil Nowak makes sure that the department's efforts to improve morale translate to each of the 22 different component agencies of the Department of Homeland Security and are felt by each of its 240,000 employees. To help do this, Secretary Jay Johnson has created what he calls a unity of, uh, unity of effort initiative to bring uh, the Department of Homeland Security components together and make the department greater than the sum of its parts. Phil leads one of the unity of effort initiatives. It's called the Human Capital Leadership Council, which brings together human resources uh, managers from across the department. Through this coordination and other unity of effort initiatives, Phil's team works hard to better ensure that the department's 240,000 employees feel like part of a larger DHS family. In such a large agency, with so many people with diverse talents and backgrounds spread around the world, it is easy to focus on the broader mission and lose sight of the individuals who help the department achieve its many mass missions. But uh, Phil, I'm happy to say, hasn't lost, lost sight of, of them. Phil and his team uh, do yeoman's work, and they focus on the value that each and every employee adds to the department's mission. It's fitting, then, that Phil's colleagues describe him as caring deeply for them and for other employees throughout the department. His commitment to them is clear. It is welcome. It is unwavering. In his own life, Phil values professional resilience and in a job that's sometimes overlooked, yet incredibly important. I think that's a, a necessary trait. It's also a fitting quality for a runner. And uh, Phil is an avid runner. I like to run, but this man, Madam President, is a real deal. He has completed both the Marine Corps Marathon and the JFK 50-mile ultra marathon twice. I'm not fit to carry his running shoes. And uh, when he isn't running, Phil is uh, building or fixing something around the house. He's cheering on those San Francisco 49ers and the San Francisco Giants. I hope it's not when they're playing my Detroit Tigers. And spending time with his family, his wife of 26 years, Christy. Their three children, Sam, Elizabeth, and Andrew. And we're grateful to them for sharing their husband and their dad. Phil Nowak is just one example of the thousands of men and women at the Department of Homeland Security who work behind the scenes every day, every day, to support their colleagues and make our country safer for all of us. Phil and his team focus on individuals. They bring together components uh, through a unity of effort, and they work tirelessly to improve employee morale. Uh, management really does matter. And without uh, Phil and his colleagues at the Management Directorate, the Department's mission to protect our homeland would suffer. So to Phil Nowak and to his team in the office of the Chief uh, Human Capital Officer, to every other hardworking employee at the Department of Homeland Security and at the, uh, the Management uh, Directorate uh, for Management, and uh, I just want to say uh, a, couple of, a couple of words. Uh, thank you. Let me say them again. Thank you. This past week, I was doing some tra traveling, uh, Madam uh, President, and uh, going through some airports and uh, being uh, going through. Uh, we go use, you usually try to use the TSA, uh, TSA pre-check, which goes a little more smoothly. People have been pre-screened. And uh, one place we were flying out of, TSA pre-check, the advertiser was open, but it wasn't. So we got to be just regular, ordinary, uh, ordinary people. And uh, in each of those places, the folks at uh, TSA, right there at the front line, trying to protect us as we fly around the country, around the world in these airplanes. They were doing their job. It is a hard job. And I would say probably a thankless job. Everybody wants to get through. They don't want to take their shoes off, or their belts off, or uh, to take their toiletry out. They, uh, they want to get through there and get on a plane and go someplace, but not get harmed and do it all safely. And uh, that's what I do when I fly, uh, Madam President. I, a lot of times I'll say to the folks at TSA, I'll tell them who I am, the committee that uh, 
that, uh, that uh, we serve on. And uh, just to let them know that we appreciate the work that they do for all of us, for all of us. Every now and then, somebody, uh, like, including over the weekend, one, uh, one TSA officer said to me, nobody's ever thanked me before. Think about that. Nobody's ever thanked me before. And I said, well, let me thank you again. And uh, keep doing your job well, and hopefully you'll get a lot of, uh, a lot of thanks. But uh, to uh, all the folks at uh, DHS who take on a hard job and uh, do it well, uh, we thank you for uh, what you do every day to protect uh, our country, the land of the free, and the home of the brave. And may God bless you.